Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I am doing our September readings, the 1st to the 15th of September 2019 and looking at Pisces, Sun Moon Rising Venus signs. May also resonate if you're dealing with a Pisces, Sun Moon Rising or Venus. As always, just keep an open mind, take what resonates. Uh, make sure to watch all your signs. And we'll just jump in. Okay, so what is going on for Pisces, Sun Moon Rising Venus, 1st of the 15th of September 2019. deck we have the four of cups so you may not have been in the best of energies okay with the four of cups this is feeling um discontent bored uh, a little bit pessimistic okay a little bit like just forget about it i don't even care okay um however what i do like with the four of cups is that there's it talks about an offer okay an offer coming in should we choose to see should we choose to accept it okay so we're just gonna put the the other cards over and see what else we're getting with this yeah definitely offers coming in absolutely okay so man. under the four of cups we have the judgment card now, with these two together, this can talk about an on-again, off-again relationship, and whoever this is, they might be trying to get on again. We have water sign energy in this case, so dealing with another water sign, potentially a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. However, with the Judgment card, it can either talk about resurrection or it can talk about uh, release, okay? Freeing yourself from a vicious cycle, all right? because I feel that you're very focused on moving forward, very determined on moving forward, okay? You have the Eight of Wands in your current situation. So this could be, you know, talking to a lot of, di a lot of different people, texting, maybe dating online, maybe um, just actually going out a lot and then you're messaging people back and forth, they're messaging you. This is things picking up speed, okay? I feel that once you made up your mind that, okay, you're gonna allow change, you're gonna focus on change, things just, like took off for you okay this is how that feels the challenge we have the knight uh the knife the knave of swords which is the page of swords sorry so the challenge with the page of swords is being too cautious being too circumspect being too skeptical okay um and allowing that to hold you back because there's plenty of options there's plenty of opportunities coming at you at the same time and the challenge is that you might be too closed off or you might be looking too far into them or you might be taking it too seriously uh, when it's not the case to do so, okay? So if you're just getting started and you're just talking to someone, it's not, it's nothing yet, you know? And you might be looking too far into things, looking for red flags, looking for things that could go wrong uh, when it's, it's just not the time to do that, okay? So just keep that in mind. In the foundation, we have the two of wands. So definitely some of you have made a decision to let go of the old and just focus on the new. No matter what, you're turning your back on the old, you, you're choosing the new. You don't know what the look the new looks like, you don't know where it's gonna take you, but you've made up your mind, okay? You've definitely turned your back to what was before. And that's why I feel things have now started to pick up speed. What we had in the past is the lover, so you may have been dealing with a soulmate uh, connection. 9D, well, most of the time, a lot of the time, okay? It just depends what type of soulmate you're attracting, but, and what type of, uh, and that depends on the type of lesson that you have to learn. But, most of the time, a soulmate connection is a difficult connection, all right? Be careful what you wish for. If you've been trying to manifest a soulmate, be careful. You will, but it won't be happily ever after. It won't be nice and easy, nice and smooth and beautiful butterflies and whatever because why because soulmates come in to help us learn they come in to trigger us they come in to push our buttons to help us grow to help us learn to make us aware of patterns to make us aware of 
you know, whatever, things we need to work on. So more often than not, a soulmate connection is very difficult. It's a lot of work and it's not meant to stick around. All right. Um, and that's what you've been dealing with. And it may have been a very long cycle. Okay. A lot of on again, off again energy with the four of cups. Okay. Maybe you were dealing with the Gemini or you were dealing with another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. doesn't matter. It could have been dealing with any sign, but it was a soulmate connection. It was a very intense connection. It was a cycle. Okay. Um, and you've just made up your mind. That's it. I'm done. I'm not going back. I'm not going back. I don't care. Okay. That combined the two of ones with the wheel of fortune in your thoughts is definitely confirming for me that you've made up your mind you want change no matter what you, you're not sure what you're not sure how it looks what it's going to look like how it's going to work out but you want change you're ready for change you don't want to keep going back through the same old same old for the rest of your life okay so you're actively looking for change actively making change happen or just allowing it to happen because with the wheel of fortune this has been trying to happen for a while now okay but our decisions i mean i'm a pisces son so i can say our decisions um either made it come in quicker or pushed it away postponed the change you know what i mean now, in the outcome, we do have the emperor. Now, for some, I'm seeing this as um, our energy. We're taking charge. We're taking control. We're calling the shots. Uh, we are not lowering our standards. We know what we want. We're not accepting any less. I do um, see you rejecting someone's offer, especially if this is an on-again, off-again connection that is trying to come back. An unhealthy connection, any unhealthy connection from your past, I do see you rejecting it because you're not, you're not even looking at it anymore, okay? If this focuses... There we go. Um, so you're just not allowing this person back in, not even listening to them, not even hearing them out, okay? Um, for others, this is an Aries individual coming in, someone arising, and that's your change, that's your new opportunity. And for others, this is just, this is the ultimate partner, okay? That's what that is, the emperor and the empress, they're the ultimate partner. Um, so I do feel that for some of you, you're meeting you may be in talks now with someone you end up having children with or you end up marrying or you end up having a long, stable relationship with. So that's amazing, isn't it? If this is going on with work, you definitely have a job change coming or you're starting your own business. Um, I feel that you you're in a position you're you're employed for the most part okay you're already employed um and for others you're coming close to the end of a contract or or something like that um and you're sending out resumes you're talking to people putting, putting your feelers out there um being discerning with the contracts offered to you with the roles offered to you but i do see september being a month of change you're going into october in a whole different new and stable situation okay so that's really good so queen of swords in the current situation with the eight of wands and the knight of the knave of swords so yeah you've been through a lot the queen of swords has been through a lot she's been through pain disappointment hurt betrayal being stabbed in the back being disappointed divorce loss of job being kicked in the ass by by fate it seems you know what i mean so dealing with a lot of injustice it, you've been through the ringer you have been through the ringer which is why perfectly understandable you're a little bit circumspect you're a little bit wary you're not just going to take things and people at face value okay and that's absolutely fine keep yourself safe but um just make sure you're not looking too much into s something to look for the bad in a situation okay just just the thought with the two of wands, we have the temperance card. It took you a long time to come to this decision. It took you a long time to uh, be ready to let go of the past. But you, you're, you're, you're there, which is why now things are picking up speed for you. Okay. For others, this is around a Sagittarius individual that helped you make this decision or gave you this option in the first place. And for others... The reason why it took you so long to come to this conclusion, to come to this decision, is because you kept trying to fix what couldn't be fixed. 
With the lovers, we have the Nine of Swords, an unstable partnership, unreliable. Uh, it kept you up at night, gave you a lot of stress, gave you a lot of anxiety, uh, make you, made you feel powerless, made you feel like you're just stuck in a bad dream. When it was good, it was great. When it was bad, it was horrible, is what I hear with this. Um, whatever the situation you were in, if this is not about a love life situation, then it just, it was unstable. You never knew if you were on solid ground or not. You never knew where you stood, okay? You never knew if you could rely, if you could count on a certain amount in your, in your pay each month or to have a job next month or you know what I mean? It was something that just kept you in a constant state of anxiety and stress. With the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So two tens. You're allowing completions to, uh, to happen. You're allowing completions to happen because you know it's gonna bring you new beginnings if the thing focuses, there we go. Because you know it's gonna bring you new beginnings. You also know that by shifting course, you're gonna end up walking the path of your happily ever after. Maybe with an earth sign, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, but either, either way, don't get stuck on people's signs. This is someone who's down to earth, reliable, realistic, practical, keeps their word. A little bit the opposite of the situation you, you were in in the past that gave you anxiety. Okay? So change is the way to your happily ever after. Whether that is changing job, changing banks, changing residence, changing approach when it comes to finances, uh, changing careers, starting your own business, okay, because the Ten of Pentacles could also be working from home, starting a family business, okay, but change that you've been thinking about, okay, that you kind of see, this change was in your environment, you just didn't allow it in, you just didn't allow it to happen, because you were still dealing with the past. You're done dealing with the past, now the change is coming in, things are picking up speed, okay, that's pretty much how I'm seeing this. So, yeah, the Emperor, Ten of Cups, another ten. Two of Swords blocking out whoever you need to block out, keeping them in the dark for a change. Yeah, absolutely. The Tower, you're blowing someone's mind by taking your power. Someone is feeling left out because you've moved on. <clears throat> so we have the Emperor with the Ten of Cups. So a new stable relationship that can le uh, lead to long term, to family, to happily ever after. You're blocking out confusion. You're blocking out maybe a cancer individual or whoever it is that's giving you um, stress, anxiety, uncertainty. Okay, they're not upfront. They're not honest. Again, it may have been uh, on a on again off again a relationship. Definitely a toxic cycle, definitely a karmic cycle, okay? Blocking them out. They might be trying to come back in as a result, refusing to let you go. We do have the two of cups here. I'm going to clarify this because for some I feel that you may give up on this beautiful change and go back. Because the change is too real all of a sudden. Let me see. Because for others I'm seeing as a Capricorn coming in. And completely changing um, approach, attitude, and outcome when it comes to relationships for you. And it's, it, it's your happily ever after. The two of cups will lead to your ten of cups. And I'm seeing you have you know doubts and hesitation because of what you've been through in the past but giving something a chance. So let me <clears throat> see. What is this about? Let's clarify the two of cups. The chariot, Jesus Christ. The chariot is a cancer individual. And we have the moon as well. So I'm seeing this person refusing to let you go. You might go back to the past. Listen, I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to tell you what to do. If you feel that that's what you need to do, then you do that. All right, you do what makes you happy. Um, I know that we're going through some, some, I don't know, with something's going retrograde or direct. I have no idea. And, and the planets, I, I listened to a few videos today. But basically, that's exactly what they were talking about, Uranus. Um, 
it went retrograde and then it went direct or vice versa i can remember i'm not an astrologer but the main idea was change is knocking it can be great change we have been working on it we've been doing it and something happens that's going to test us we either keep going in the path we've chosen or we go back to the past and completely like throw out the change try to use what we've learned in the change to fix the past okay so oh god i hope that makes sense so you do what you feel is best let's see any other messages for pisces the sun i feel like either sheesh kebab either way you're going to be happy with your choice Four of Pentacles, I saw it in reverse, and the Hangman, I, I looked at it in reverse. Either way, and the Five of Wands, I looked at it in reverse. So, for some of you, yes, I'm seeing you going back to the past. And for others, I'm seeing you uh, determined and focused to keep going with a new person, maybe an Aries or a Capricorn. Okay, nine of wands with the knight of pentacles. You're blocking something out and you're choosing the other, but it, it'll be different for everyone, okay? The magician, you're manifesting at this time, so it's just gonna be, it's gonna be your choice, absolutely. And you see we have a lot of majors, so definitely check out what's going on in the astrology because it, uh, it might give you additional insight, okay? And what did I watch? Um, Scarlet Moon, he, uh, Nico, if that's how you pronounce his name, did a video on this whole Uranus transition uh, explaining that and what it means, and I found it very useful. Yeah, Nine of Wands and the Justice card. So it's going to be your choice. Three of Swords, Ace of Cups. If you, Strength card, stay on your path that you've chosen, the new path that you've chosen with the Nine of Wands and the Justice card and everything that you've learned after the breakup or, or the separation or whatever this is, or um, go for a new start. Renew, okay, as it were. So it's going to be completely up to you, okay? Bottom line, because I could keep going on for days. Bottom line is, you've made a change, you've made a decision, and you've worked on it. You're seeing results. Things are happening. Um, the past will come knocking. You can either choose to let that door stay closed and continue down the path you've chosen for yourself as a new path, and it will lead you to your happily ever after. Or you can choose to open the door to the past, either to get closure if you feel you need to, or to try to apply what has changed and, and work out the, the old situation, in which case it'll be different for everyone because it just depends what kind of karmic lessons you've got going on, okay? But I hope the reading helps. It's a bit of a longer reading. <laughs> um, but it was, it was complex, okay? So I hope I was able to give you some insight if you're dealing with these situations. Let me know what you're dealing with, okay? Let me know what's going on here for you. Um, that was the main energy, so that can apply with love life. Yes, I'm seeing it very strongly for love life, but also whatever it is that you love. So it could be your job, your career, your business. So try to see how it fits to your scenario, okay? So make the most of the energy. Let me know what's going on, okay? And I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.